Love is in the air Everywhere I look around Love is in the air Every sight and every sound not the right words. It's not love is in the air, it's love is in Carmure's and this is our Valentine's Day assembly. Let's start it off with an enjoyable sing song. Love is in the air, everywhere I look around. Love is in the air, every sight and every sound. And I don't know if I'm being foolish, don't know if I'm being wise, but it's something that I must believe in, and it's there when I'm looking to arrive. Love is in the air, in the whisper of the tree. Love is in the air, in the thunder of the sea And I don't know if I'm just dreaming Don't know if I feel safe But it's something that I must believe in And it's there when you call out my name Love is in the air Valentine's Day when it comes. We're actually all on holiday when it's Valentine's Day. But before you go, I want to share some Valentine poems with you. People send each other Valentine's cards and inside it used to be traditional that you would write little love poems or love rhymes in your Valentine's card and here are some of them here. A circle is round, it has no end. That is how long I'll be your friend. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are all of you. 
across the land, across the sea, forever friends, or friends forever we will be. So if you are planning on buying a card or telling somebody how special they are to you, you might want to add some of these Valentine's poems or you might actually want to write one yourself. I have written a special love poem for Carmuir's Primary School. I hope you like it. What I love about Carmuir's by Mrs. Wilson. And you'll see that I've put all the letters of Carmuir's down the side. So, Carmuir's is very special to me. The adults and children are kind, you see. Running a school can be a real challenge but I have the best support so it's easy to manage. Usually happiness is all around, in classes, the dining hall and in the playground. Rights of everyone, being happy and safe. Star Muir's is what I call this wonderful place. I hope you liked it. And why not enter our Valentine's Day competition? And over the weekend when you are off on Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday because you have five days off, you might want to write a little love rhyme like the ones that I read out. Or you might want to write a love poem about Camus. If you decide to do that and enter our competition, there will be certificates for everybody who does that. And we'll have a winner from each class. I can't wait to read your poems and your rhymes. Once you've done them, you can send them to your teacher through Seesaw. And talking of love, you know we just love it when you are at school and that is why we celebrate your attendance with our special attendance celebration awards. So 100% we're going back to December because we never had an assembly in January. So well done to all of the people you can see on your screen here because they all had 100% attendance in December, not one single day off. And I'll give you a wee minute to find your class and to read out the names of your class so that you can see if you are going to be getting a sticker for December. Super well done, everybody. Primary 6-5 and Primary 5-4, wow, your attendance was amazing in December. Let's have a look at January. Whoa, Primary 6 is nearly off the board. Primary 5-4, Primary 4-3 are giving them a run for their money in January as our Primary 1. And we know that Primary 7 it can't be good for you because so many of you have had COVID. Okay, but well done to everybody who's on our screen. I will have this PowerPoint in Teams so that the teachers can have a wee check and make sure everybody who's earned a sticker for 100% attendance gets that today because it really, really is a fantastic achievement. So we have been enjoying our 100% attendance club, haven't we? And for some of you, because of COVID or because of other reasons, that's just not possible. So I've decided I'm going to introduce a new celebration attendance award, and I'm not going to be looking for 100% attendance for February. No. Nope. Instead, I'm going to be looking for 95%. And that means if you have two days off, you should still be able to get your 95% attendance. Now, that doesn't mean that I want you to go away and have 
days off. But what it does mean is if you do have to have a day off, you know that you haven't ruined your chances of getting an attendance award. So I want to see everybody in Carmure's striving for 95. Or you can say, I'm going to strive for 95, and that's 95% attendance, and I know you can all do it. Tying in nicely with our theme of love and caring for each other in Carmure's, Random Acts of Kindness Day is happening next Thursday. So we will be back in school on Thursday the 17th of February and it's Random Acts of Kindness Day. And I've come up with 10 random acts of kindness that I think you could do. And I'm going to print this out and I want to see how many people in our school can have a go at achieving all 10 of these different ways to share kindness in Carmure's. So what examples do we have? You can invite someone in the dining hall to go in front of you in the queue. That's showing somebody in Carmure's your kindness. You could remember to say thank you to your adults when they've planned an activity that you really enjoyed. You could pick up litter that you see around your school, even if it wasn't you that put it there. That's showing kindness to Karen Muir's. You could invite someone who is alone in the playground to play. Mrs. Wilson doesn't like to think of anybody being on their own in the playground. So it would be very kind to make sure everyone has someone to play with. You could remember to say thank you in the dining hall to the adults who help you with your lunch. You could learn more about someone in your class. So you might see somebody in your class and think, I don't know lots about them. You could ask them questions and find out what different experiences you have had to them. And you could also find out what things both of you like. That would be sh sharing kindness in Carmure's. Another way to share kindness is to let an adult know if you're worried that someone isn't happy so that the adult can help them. So have a look and if you think anybody around the school isn't looking too happy and you're worried, let an adult know so that they can do something to help. Number eight, if by accident you say something or do something that upsets someone, if you knock them over when you're playing football or something happens in the playground and it's a bit rough, Say sorry and let the person know you didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you sad. I didn't mean for you to fall there. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Another one is to be really honest and tell Mrs. Wilson what we need to do to make our school a safer and happier place for everyone to be. And that would be important for the adults and for all of the children. And I've got something that we can help you with for that one. And then number 10, a great way to share the kindness is to complete this calendar. Because if everybody in our school completes this calendar, our school will be a kind and lovely place to be every day. I look forward to hearing how you all get on with this. Uh -huh. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light. To guide you Find out what we're made of When we are 
call to help our friends in need You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah And then you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Ooh. are supposed to do all oh yeah In primary one, Mrs. Gelland has awarded Becca and Asha awards for becoming very confident in reading with expression. Well done to both of you girls. Have a big round of applause. And also, Harris, you have been given a an award from Mrs. Jalland for trying really hard and doing fantastic letter writing. Well done. And Cody, a big special mention to you for building a super wall with the blocks. Fantastic job, boys. Well done. Primary two are epic. Primary two have just joined Epic and so far, I think in a week, they've already hit 25 books read. What amazing readers you are. Well done, Primary two. Fantastic. And Addy, you have been awarded a certificate from Miss Patterson for completing Teacher Monster to Read First Steps. And Maya, you have completed Teacher Monster to Read 2, Fun with Words. Well done to both of you. Isla Greenhorn has been awarded a certificate for being a star writer. Well done, Isla. And Talia, who has just joined us in school, also received a Star Writer Certificate. Well done to you, Talia. In Primary 4-3, Caden Williamson, Daniel, Thomas, 
and Cole all received notes home to tell their families of the great work they have been doing in class. Well done to all four of you. And now that brings us to our birthdays. And we have two months of birthdays to be sharing because we never did January birthdays and now we've got February birthdays. So for January, happy birthday to Alicia in Primary 7, Tegan in Primary 6, 5, Casey Lee, Louie, Imogen, Emma Forrest, Caden Williamson, Holly, Ava, Daniel and Igor. You all share the month of January for your birthdays. And for February, we have Becca, Lewis, again our newest girl to our school, Talia, Emily, Katie, Keris, James Hall, Maria and Jack Hind. Well done to all of you. I hope you had very, very special birthdays. And Maria, I am so sorry that we forgot to sing happy birthday to you in the dining hall. To make up for that, this song is just for you. Yes, we're talking about Valentine's Day. You know what that means. Cards, flowers and selfie couples. But is Valentine's Day actually a real thing? Or is it just an excuse for couples to get all gross and lovey-dovey with one another? Well, turns out it's been around for thousands of years. The day was inspired by the story of Valentine, a Christian who couldn't get enough of marriage. He was thrown in jail for helping young men to marry, defying the Roman Emperor who believed that unmarried men made better soldiers. Whilst in prison, he wrote a letter to the jailer's daughter, thought to have been a love letter. He signed it, from your Valentine. In the 1500s, Valentine's Day really started to catch on with people sending messages to that special someone. By the late 1700s, this tradition was as popular as ever, when printed cards were made with declarations of love, which leads us to the cheesy cards we send today. Now, before you go telling your pals that Valentine's Day isn't a big deal, it's been around longer than your great Great, 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 great grandparents and beyond. So you will remember that on a random acts of kindness calendar, there was a mention of sharing something that you love about Karen Muir's primary school. And here is the QR code that will allow you to go and tell Mrs. Wilson what makes Carmure's a special place to be. Every class will have one of these posters and I look forward to all the lovely messages that you're going to give about Carmure's primary school. And oh my goodness, are we sharing the love with you today? Look at all these raffle ticket books that have been handed in to me by the adults in school and they all have people that they want to give head teacher awards to. So let's get started and we're going with, we're starting with Miss Patterson. And Miss Patterson is starting with, let us see, she's giving one to Lacey, 
Lacey has had the most wonderful manners in class. And Natalie always makes sure she completes her target tasks straight away. And Liam always makes sure he completes his target tasks straight away as well. Fantastic. Every single child in primary two is getting an award for performing the Scottish poem in front of the whole class because that takes a lot of confidence, doesn't it? And then the finalists have been given five head teachers awards each. So Addy, Rose and Liam, you all have an extra five head teacher awards. And the art finalists have also been given five head teacher awards. So that's Maya, Addy, Natalie. Well done to all of you. That's a lot of head teacher awards. And then Talia, our new girl Talia, who's just joined the school. She's getting one for having an amazing start to Carmuir's primary school. And Addy's been given one for the best unicorn challenge. And that's all from Miss Patterson. So let's move on and see who we've got next. We have Mrs. Jalland. Who has Mrs. Jalland been given head teacher awards to? Let us see. All right, so if we go back to December, because these are going from December right in to January. So Mrs. Jalland has given one to Caden for superb listening, one to Asha for superb listening, one to Jaden for always being a helpful superstar at snack time, one to Isla for always offering to help, one to Lewis for memorising two Scottish poems. Well done, Lewis. One to Harris for being really brave and saying his Scottish poem out to the rest of the class. Asha for memorising her Scots poem. Isla for a brilliant recitation of her Scots poem. Becca for reciting two poems with amazing expression and I would agree with that, Becca. Katie also said her poem with really good expression so she gets one too and then Maya for learning the poems and then Molly and Becca and Asha all for supporting the Burns Assembly in India and Jaden and Oliver and Corey and Isla so all of you did a great job at joining the Burns Assembly in India. So they're all from Mrs. Jalland. Next up we have... <laughs> Mrs. O'Neill. And Mrs. O'Neill has given... One to Holly for writing fantastic stories. One to Alexander for perseverance to making his story a wee bit longer. Another one for Alexander for honesty when he found some money. Lacey Singer, you're getting one for being responsible when carrying out a message to another teacher. Lacey Tattersall for writing an amazing book review. Emily for her efforts to improve her handwriting. Brodie for excellent listening in class. Well done, Brodie. Leah for brilliant team support when playing basketball. Freya 
for being kind to another pupil and Lucy for super listening in the classroom. Well done to all of you. And moving quickly on, we're moving on to Mrs Jones. And we are starting with, let us see. So many. Our first one's going to Emma for good choices, making good choices in class, and Ewan, and Abba, and Zach, and Kenzie, and Keris, and Casey Lee. So Mrs. Jones is recognising all of you because you always make the right choices in class during the month. And it's really important that that is recognised with our Head Teachers Awards. A big well done to all of you. Now, can you see who this is? It's me. And I'm giving for great teamwork. And this goes away back to December, and you might remember, I think I was in your class and you were doing really good teamwork. Um, it was Kyle Cruz, Imogen, Erin, Jodie, Kyle Barr, Ethan, Kyle Kennedy and Alicia Sawkins. You were all working really well together that day when I was in your classroom. So I have awarded each of you a Head Teachers Award. And I haven't given out very many more, to be honest, this time. My first one is going to Theo for and Alexis for joining our school and settling in really well. I'm giving one to Kenzie because since we've come back after Christmas, he's been making really good choices at breaking lunches. Courtney Hall is getting one because Courtney, I am so impressed with how you've settled back into school after being off ill. And Jack Sneddon, I'm giving you one and it's going way back to when you helped me set up the Primary 7 party in December. So you're never forgotten. If we say we're going to give you one, you are going to get one. It just might take longer than you expect. So that's a wee surprise for you. Um, Miss is Williamson was working with our new Talia in primary two and has given her two head teachers awards for excellent reading. So well done, Talia. My next book is Mr. Cunningham. And we are going to And we're starting with Frankie, who's getting one for removing himself from situations when other people are maybe being disrespectful. Yeah, and that's a really important one, Frankie. Well done to you, because that's part of being a really good role model, showing that you don't have to follow the crowd when they're making poor choices. Cole, you're getting one for your excellent Scots poem, as is Emily. And as is Riley, well done to all three of you. They were long poems to learn. Alex, you're getting one for your Scottish artwork, as is Casey and Dexter. Well done to all of you in Primary 7. Moving quickly on, we are going to the playroom now. So this is Miss Downs and Mrs Love. And let's see where we're starting here. The first one is for Ollie in primary 6-5 for helping in the dinner hall with water and cleaning up. Well done, Ollie. Exactly why I asked for primary 6 fives to be helpful in the dinner hall. And then one to Alicia Sawkins for helping with handing out water and cleaning up in the dinner hall. Well done to you, Miss Downs has been really grateful for your support. <clears throat> Moving on to primary 6-5. Oh, there's quite a few here. Let's go. Oh, 
Okay, our first one is for Ethan for helping with coats and bags in the class. One for Erin for singing with the choir all day. One for Emma for singing with the choir all day. So see what I mean about how far back these are going. One for Fraser for always saying nice comments and being kind to his classmates. Another one for you, Emma, for being very helpful and tidying in the class. And that one's coming from Miss Young. We'll need to get Miss Young a wee book of her own. And then Kyle Cruz, you're getting one from Miss Young as well for litter picking at lunchtime and great tidying in the class at the end of the day. Jack Snedden, you're getting one for being super helpful in the dining hall, pouring cups of water and helping the primary ones and twos with tidying the trays away. And that's from Mrs Young as well. Mrs Young, you will definitely get your own book. Thank you for nominating those children. We're on to our last one, you'll be glad to know. So, Mrs Hunter, and there is a lot here because Mrs Hunter forgets to give me her book every month. So we're going way, way back. Can you believe it to November? And our first one is going to Lauren. You were so responsible when we went to visit the Learning for Sustainability studio in Falkirk. Stephen, you're getting one for the same for that trip. <clears throat> Louis, you're getting one for going on that trip to the workshop as well. And then, John, you're getting one for always giving 100% during toe by toe. Keep trying really hard, and you have been, and it's making such a difference. James Thompson, you're getting one for super effort with your spelling. Emma Temporal, you're getting one for always tidying when you're asked to. Another one for Louie and Freya and Katie and Abby and Zach. And Zach's is for always trying your very best. She's given one to Theo. You've worked hard and focused on your assessments. Daniel and Boyd, you're getting one. Daniel, you've got another one. Well done, Daniel. Super listener. Caitlin McCall, super listening. Cole Grierson, super listening. Casey Lee, super listening. Ewan Cooper, super listening. Chelsea, super listening. Thomas, super listening. Caden, super listening. Emma Forrest, super listening. Leah Robertson, for working so hard. David, super listening and for working so hard. Leah Douglas, good listening and working hard. And Jack, for an amazing piece of writing which showed real imagination. So there you go. All of our head teachers awards and if you want to see how many you have now you'll see that on our next slide i hope you have enjoyed this morning's assembly i will leave you with a wee glimpse of the award tokens and who will be coming to the toy shop tomorrow now mrs wilson will just come up and get people at times where she's available so that everybody can have been to the toy shop before we finish for our holiday. And then don't forget, you can already start to work so hard to get Head Teachers Awards ready for our March celebration assembly. Well done to everybody who's been recognised for their attendance. Well done to everybody who's been recognised by a member of staff in school for showing kindness, helpfulness, hard work, all of the things that make you a great learner and a great person. Take care and I will see you at the toy shop tomorrow. Goodbye. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Oh.
the sweet caress of twilight. There's magic everywhere. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disasters in the air. To make her see the truth about my past, impossible. She'd turn away from me. He's holding back, he's hiding. But what I can't decide. Why won't he be the king I know he is, the king I see inside?